Yeah, that was crazy. That was yeah. Nice What just happened? Oh, I think a snake bit me. Was, is it poisonous? Oh, it has a stuff. <laughs> oh no, what should we do? I think I need an antidote. I happen to have two. One neutralizes the pH of zero to four, and the other neutralizes from five to seven. Uh, get a sample from the snake. <clears throat> Alright, I got the sample. Can you predict the acid base reaction? No, I totally forgot. But I can run a titration really quick. Luckily, I brought my titration kit. Hold on, buddy. No! Can you predict the acid base reaction? Okay. Um, for the reaction, HCl plus NaOH. Um, I'm going to just use this as, a, as an example um, for acid base reactions. Um, here, uh, I made up a Ka and a Kb. Now, these values are not really what um, go with HCl or NaOH. It's just very strong acids and very strong base. So, these are just made up numbers to help with the concept. Um, Alright, as you can see here, the Ka is larger than the Kb because it's to the negative 8 and it's to the negative 14. So the Ka is larger. So the HCl prefers to be an acid. Um, and then the NaOH has a very, very small um, Ka, which means it, and then um, a, a large Kb compared to the Ka. So that means that the NaOH um, wants to be an acid. Um, and, and the product of this is um, H2O plus NaCl. Um, so it is a neutralization reaction um, because the large Ka and the small Kb for the HCl makes it prefer to be an acid. The large um, Kb and a small Ka shows how NaOH prefers to be a base. So the reaction will come out as H2O plus NaCl. Um, so this is one way to predict the reaction. I got it! I feel better. Oh, good! Good! Yay, chemistry! Yay.